hello everyone welcome to the core channel whether it is a spread space or a part of another room styling the dining room can get a bit challenging the design of your dining room can greatly affect your mood and emotions having your meals in a well-designed space that matches your taste can post your positivity and make you feel better here are some tips to help you style your dining room layout it is the best to place the table in the center of the room however if you want to integrate it with the living room area you can go for an open plan then you will place the dining room in the center and pick the shape you want furniture dining table when you design your dining table first you got to choose a table that's well proportioned to the size of the room also you have to consider the amount of people who will be seated if your space is rather small then go for a round table to save some space choose the table with the meter not larger than 50 inches in order to make it easier for members to have conversation across the table however if you would like to have space for up to eight people then a rectangle or oval table will work better as for the material it's good to go for wood or marble since they are more durable last longer then you can make the color and the upholstery according to your style also don't be afraid to use some metallic additions good silver brass or iron can fit in with every color and pattern chair choose the chairs should be suitable to the height of the table always keep in mind to choose a chair comfortable enough for a two hour long meal in order to avoid giving the feeling your room is cultured keep three feet of a space open behind your chairs this leaves space for you and your guests to get up and down from the table sideboard or buffet if your dining area is rather small and you would like to make it feel lighter and spacious then you would like go for a sideboard with open shelving or glass cabinet doors a buffet with closed cabinetry looks heavy generally it will be better for a larger dining space as for its size make sure that your sideboard isn't too deep as you need at least 24 inches of space between pieces of furniture for comfortable calculations the sideboard should also be comfortable for serving therefore it can be of an average 36 inches in height decoration tab when you accessories your buffet it's good to make it the three levels do this with a lamp high candlesticks middle and add another lower level object it's also nice to add a backdrop to your sideboard or buffet you can have large piece of art a mirror or even a couple framed pieces to create a gallery wall wall colors if you want to spice up your dining area don't go for a wild color on the walls this will instantly make your space more vibrant generally a dining room should be have warm colors on the walls such as a rich deep roast or dark green or blue you can also match a pattern wallpaper with your chosen furniture upholstery however if you prefer simple neutral color in the walls you can then add the colored elements elsewhere this can be in a paintings for instance or for another accessories like the carpet or cohesions accessories floral arrangement if you are a flower lover then it's a great opportunity to make a statement and add flowers to your dining room a well-designed flower centerpiece can add a special essence for your dining room enhance your mood defining with rug in an open plan reception you will need to define the dining area space 
adding a rock can perfectly do this job you can go creative with the patterns and textures you want to mix with your furniture artwork every space can be totally changed by adding an artwork if you want it the dining room isn't an exception Add an inspiring artwork to your dining room can set your positive mood. Lighting is one of the most important elements to your dining room. It either makes or breaks the general look and feel. Using fancy chandelier or instantly elevate your dining space and make it more special. Chandlers come in all shapes and sizes. You can go for a glass or crystal chandler or even liner one to your want to keep it simple however don't forget to install dimmer switch in order to adjust brightness besides make sure to keep chandlers or pendant lighting out of your face by installing at least 30 inches over the table curtains if your dining room has a window then your choice of curtains should be made well Curtains can add softness to your interior space that's already full of furniture. Make sure to choose the suitable lens of the rubbers. Your curtains should at least touch the floor. If you would prefer longer ones, then go for it, but never make it too short. Designers have agreed that having short curtains is generally a common mistake that should be avoided in interior spaces. Mix and match your curtains with the table, clothes or chair fabrics. You can always go for a bob pattern that adds your dining room design through contrasts. Determine the function of the room. Before designing a space, it's important to understand the function that it will serve. Will the space be used for formal dinner parties or casual gatherings? How much seating is required? Should the space promote conversations or large group conversations? Does the space need to serve or store formal dinner wear? Once you have answered these questions you can start space planning and selecting the materials and pieces small round tables are optimal for conversation and flexibility and number of guests long narrow rectangular tables maximize the number of guests along the beer meter but create a very different conversation pattern Consider the type of environment you would like to create. Ensure a private setting. During a social gathering, much of guests' time is spent in the dining room. A well-designed dining room should encourage conversation along guests, which means the space shouldn't be too noisy or in sight of many discretions particularly in an open concept home it can be challenging to ensure a private and setting without sacrificing style establish a focal point make the table the center of attention so that your diners are the main focus when the dining table is the focal point of the space guests will feel more comfortable to take a seat and communicate with one another once the table is arranged, all other furniture and accessories so that they complement this focal point. Create a conversation starter. Design a space that draws and promotes conversation among guests, whether it's with unique artwork, bold wallpaper, or custom furnishings. Consider what's going to spark great conversations. The unique use of this room partly comes from how we handled the fist ceiling. The team uniquely arranged paneling on the ceiling added texture and color to the space. Inject personality. A one of a kind dining room makes a statement and leaves a lasting impression. 
but it should also evoke conversation and represent the personality of the homeowner. The color palette, artwork or accessories in a space can reveal information about the homeowner, giving guests a more personalized dining experience. Use your hobbies or interests as a guide to create your unique space. Anything that brings you joy can be placed on your walls. Whenever possible, make aesthetic connections and personal reference. A bold color palette in this dining room matches the bubbly, colorful personality of its owner. We couldn't resist using the multicolored bubbles within bubbles as a free from and playful light fixture to round out the, the room. Finally, every dining chair has been upholstered in a different color and guests are encouraged to select the chair that best fits their character. Mix and match furnishings, lighting or artwork to give your space a creative style. Furniture just makes everything better, it's less expected and creates interest especially when the patterns are so different. Find the right lighting. Beautiful lighting features can turn a typical dining room into an extraordinary. The dramatic chandeliers with geometric glass pendants that enclose the shape of the room complete the desired feeling of the space. Lighting is hugely important, especially directly over chairs to eliminate dark shadows of on guests' faces. Hang chandeliers low. 28 to 34 inches above the table, grate a glue on the perimeter wall by using wall washers to highlight art and interesting surfaces and reduce as many eye level light sources as possible like sconces. Shop custom furnishings. Ensure that your space is unlike any other when you use custom furnishings. A one-of-a-kind table or unique chairs will help a dining room stand out. The custom left edges wood table is the focal point of this space. The floor plane of this house is very open and the dining table is truly in the heart of the home. Thank you everyone for watching us. Hello everyone, welcome to the Decor channel. Whether it is a spread space or a part of another room, styling the dining room can get a bit challenging. The design of your dining room can greatly affect your mood and emotions. Having your meals in a well-designed space that matches your taste can boost your positivity and make you feel better. Here are some tips to help you style your dining room. Layout It is the best to place the table in the center of the room. However, if you want to integrate it with the living room area, you can go for an open plan. Then you will place the dining room in the center and pick the shape you want. Furniture Dining table. When you design your dining table first, you got to choose a table that's well proportioned to the size of the room. Also, you have to consider the amount of people who will be seated. If your space is rather small, then go for a round table to save some space. Choose the table with the meter not larger than 50 inches in order to make it easier for members to have conversation across the table. However, if you would like to have space for up to eight people, then a rectangle or oval table will work better. As for the material, it's good to go for wood or marble since they are more durable, last longer, then you can make the color and the upholstery according to your style. Also, don't be afraid to use some metallic additions. Good silver, brass or iron can fit in with every color and pattern. Chair. Choose the chairs should be 
suitable to the height of the table always keep in mind to choose a chair comfortable enough for a two hour long meal in order to avoid giving the feeling your room is cultured keep three feet of a space open behind your chairs this leaves space for you and your guests to get up and down from the table sideboard or buffet if your dining area is rather small and you would like to make it feel lighter and spacious then you would like go for a sideboard with open shelving or glass cabinet doors a buffet with closed cabinetry looks heavy generally it will be better for a larger dining space as for its size make sure that your sideboard isn't too deep as you need at least 24 inches of space between pieces of furniture for comfortable calculations the sideboard should also be comfortable for serving therefore it can be of an average 36 inches in height decoration tab when you accessorize your buffet, it's good to make it the three levels. Do this with a lamp, high candlesticks, middle, and add another lower level object. It's also nice to add a backdrop to your sideboard or buffet. You can have large piece of art, a mirror, or even a couple framed pieces to create a gallery wall. Wall colors. If you want to spice up your dining area, don't go for a wild color on the walls. This will instantly make your space more vibrant. Generally, a dining room should be have warm colors on the walls such as a rich deep roast or dark green or blue. You can also match a pattern wallpaper with your chosen furniture upholstery.